Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and I'm so excited to show you today's mod because I have been waiting so eagerly for this one to go free. And this is the Functional Pool Table mod by Utopia CC. It's kind of funny how <laughs> a couple of months ago I made a TikTok about how uh, I wanted pool tables back in The Sims 4, and here we are now with this mod. So this is, I think, actually the most detailed gameplay object mod that I've downloaded. We'll actually see those animations in a bit, but here are all of the colors for it. There's, there's a lot of them, so that's pretty neat. You can fit it into various settings, including the classic green. And also, I just want to show you the object description. So yeah, you can find it under recreation in activities and skills. It outlines the features and all that. It even has a little bit of lore saying that it's proudly built in the Del Sol Valley in Mirage Park Hills. So that's near the starter neighborhood in Del Sol Valley for Get Famous. That's, that's neat. I wasn't expecting that as well, but yeah, let's just show this off. It's pretty straightforward. There are a few different animations that can play. And yeah, reset the game is just like, if you want to cancel the animation early, just uh, do that. But you can play pool with. Uh, oh, wow. I was not expecting this many Sims to pop up. It is still, I think, considered to be an alpha phase. So yeah, there shouldn't be pets popping up, but there are. <laughs> I've tried doing that actually, and it just didn't work. Like the interaction didn't do anything. And I also saw this happen with children. The same thing happened. It didn't uh, do anything. So you still got to play at least with a teenager or older. But we'll have her play with her uh, sister Janessa. It is supposed to actually build relationship up a little bit. So <laughs> maybe they can just bond over billiards. Yeah, so she just goes up to ask her first. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I hijacked the dance hall from Chestnut Ridge to use as a billiards hall instead, but it's okay. So look at this. She actually puts the money in the machine and then... Okay, yeah, she's gonna be the one to put on this thing first. And then putting the balls on... Like, normally this, if Maxis made this, I'm sure it'd be just a generic swiping animation we see so many times. But this is actually putting all the balls on there. And then you have Tanya just kind of be like, oh yeah, I'm ready to ready play some pool. And then, look at this, yeah, it just passes it over. And turns it around. I've only played pool, like, once or twice in my life, so... I don't really know all the ins and outs of it, but this is funny. Oh, even look at the local bunnies kind of curious, perhaps, though looking away at the moment. All right, so there we go. I got it set up, so here we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I remember how at Discovery University we got the ping pong table, and I was a little disappointed with that because the ball is, like, barely even a ball. It's more of just, like, a little visual effects that's not... Yeah, it's not, like... A fully 3D ball, which is strange, but these, these are balls, all right. <laughs> That's never something I would have thought I'd say in a video, but here we are in 2024. There Tanya goes, setting up the shot. Uh, oh yeah, you got the red one. And that one went in two. <laughs> yeah, I think that went pretty well, possibly. There we go, and putting all the balls away. I guess it's, are they already done? Huh, I thought, I thought the animation lasts a little bit longer, but maybe it does, does go a little differently. Oh wait, no, she's doing it again. Okay, I guess they're just kind of like resetting this. Are they gonna take them out again? Okay, she's pressing that. Oh wait, no, I guess they are done, hold on. Okay, yeah, they are done. 
Uh, so we'll do this one more time. Maybe we'll have Janessa initiate it. And play pool with. Uh, there's Tanya. Yeah, it looks like the, I didn't actually pay attention to how much the relationship went up, but it looks like it went up a bit. Okay, okay, Janessa, you can't resist the spotlight, even when other Sims are taking pictures of you in the bathroom. That's really funny. The Sims tweeted the other day about, like, things that are in for this year and things that are out, and one of the things that are in are toilet BFFs, and then, like, not long before they tweeted that, <laughs> Sims bonding in the bathroom. Yeah, it's like they know. They know my games. <laughs> Especially, I just feel like, not even just in The Sims 4. In any Sims game, a bathroom is the social hotspot. Okay, the interaction cancel out, so let's just try this again. Yeah, let's play with Tanya. Yeah, this is so cool. Like, there's been multiple packs that Maxis could have brought pool tables back in, so I hope we still get them officially someday, but even so, I don't think the animations will be as sophisticated as they are with this mod. I did notice one weird thing with this, though, because the interaction in the queue from when I was testing it off camera, it doesn't actually stay there for the whole time, so there was, <laughs> there was an occasion where my sim kind of ran off to get a drink, but it seemed like she went invisible for a bit. And then I got like a better exceptions animation error. But thankfully that did not happen the first time. We'll see what happens now. Oh my gosh, all the paparazzi are gathering around because Janessa is really famous. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you know what would be cool? Let's see what this looks like in first-person camera. I didn't think about that until now. Uh, oops, wrong sim. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. There you go. Light up the shot. Oh! <laughs> Just is like, whoa. Wait. I'm actually kind of impressed and I'm not... Impressed by things very often. Oh! She got that shot. Alright, let's uh, just get out of that. Ugh. <laughs> Sonia's reaction to like, ah! Pound the fist. Oh, okay, maybe that bunny's not that interested in the pool table after all. That actually did happen though when I tested it off camera. The bunny came into the bar since it's all like open here. <laughs> and I took a picture and I tweeted it. Oh my gosh, all these sims. Oh yeah, this is one, <laughs> this is one billiards match for the books. Oh, it's done now. Okay. Actually, I'll do this one more time just so you can see like the reset interaction uh in action here that is good though it's been working pretty well so far oh wait the buddy's coming back <laughs> oh, wait there's two of them what what wait, this, why where are these buddies coming from oh maybe they're all living what because i i placed um <laughs> the tree stuff over here with the tool bot but i thought there was only one buddy or maybe even two living in that one. Uh, I think the interaction might have not worked this time. Because now, what is she doing? Yeah, it's not even in her queue. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's because now there's way more sims on the lot and it's giving some simulation lag, or if it actually is something with the pool table, but now it's getting really difficult for me to actually start a game of pool now. Oh, well, well, yeah, it's... Okay, yeah, now it's working, that's good. So, one thing that is missing is a scoring system. I know um, Utopia said they may or may not add that, and I, I hope they do. Well, that would be really cool, because it seemed like Tanya lost the last match. We didn't have the game declare a winner, and there were no buffs associated with winning or losing, so I feel like that would be one thing that could make this mod feel really complete. Also with the balls, there's no numbers 
on them because I think I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think no matter what game of billiards you're playing, the balls would have some kind of number labeled on them because I know there's like different kinds of billiards games that you can play and pool is just kind of like one of them or I think multiple of them. Wait, did someone pee on the floor? What happened here? Uh, maybe some questions are better unanswered. Uh, oh no, uh, Janessa has to go to the washroom, so let's reset the game. Okay, uh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I think she just has to finish like that part of the animation and then they'll like get out of it. Uh oh. <laughs> um, that's not supposed to happen. But, uh, is, are they still gonna do the whole game? Or, what? Oh, okay, I just had to do it twice for some reason. So, yeah, it it's not perfect, but yeah, it's still it's still a really a really cool mod for sure that I want to keep in my game. Oh wow, their relationship is almost back to neutral already after a few games of pool. Yeah, this could definitely be used as a relationship mender if need be. Oh my gosh, she's walking through the wall. It's not autonomous yet to play pool. You always have to command the sims to do it. So that's another nice little thing that hopefully will be added in the future. Ooh, the sunset's going in the background. There's a vampire here now? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's Evelyn, one of my vampires who is teleporting. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely recommend giving this mod a try if you play on PC or Mac. And yeah, as I said earlier, I was really excited for this to become free. It is free to download as of a couple of days ago. And oh my gosh, look at all these sims showing up. <laughs> I'll leave the download link in the video description below. And yeah, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this mod in the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I'll talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.